hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is move zeros in this question we're given an integer array called nums and we have to move all the zeros present inside that array nums to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements and the most important thing is that you have to do it in place without creating a new copy of the array coming to the function this is the function name move zeros and we are given an input array of integer data type called nums and the return type is void which means that you don't have to return anything we just have to move the zeros to the end of the array and maintain the relative order of the non-zero elements also we have to do it in place which means that you have to modify the input array nums and not create a new array to solve the question so let's take a look at the example and see how this question can be solved let's take a look at the example one i've drawn the same nums array here so in this question we're going to iterate through the nums array from left to right starting from the zeroth index position until the length of the nums array a task is to move the zeros to the end of the array and maintaining the relative position of the other non-zero elements so you're using a for loop i loop through the nums array using i and i declared a variable index so using a for loop i'm going to iterate through the nums array and i'll check if the element at the ith index position is a non-zero element or not initially i is pointing at the zeroth index position it is a zero so we have to check for non-zero right so we can move further as it is not a non-zero number so i will be pointing here now i is pointing to a non-zero element so we add that non-zero element at the pointer index and we can increment index also so index and i are pointing there we can go to the next iteration i is pointing here it is a zero if it is a zero we simply move further now i is pointing here it is a non-zero element so we insert that non-zero element at index so index is pointing here so add that element here now we need to increment the index for the next iteration so i will be pointing here it is a non-zero element so insert that non-zero element at index now we increment the index variable and move on to the next iteration in the next iteration i will be pointing here and we reach the end of the array so once we reach the end of the array we can come out of the for loop and start a new for loop starting from index until the end of the array and in each iteration we need to replace those elements with a zero so index is now pointing at the third index position and replace that element with a zero now increment index replace that element with a zero now increment index now we reach the end of the array so we can end the for loop now you can see we have achieved the task of moving the zeros to the end so zeros are now at the end and the non-zero elements are in the beginning maintaining the relative order of insertion so finally our output array will look like this so without using a new array we change the input array into the output array here and we return that as the output so let's take a look at the code i declared the index variable and initialized it to zero i used a for loop to loop from zero till the end of the array and checking if it is a non-zero element we add that element at index and increment index variable so this will happen for all the non-zero elements these three elements will be added and now using another for loop starting from index position so index was pointing here right we iterate and add zeros like how we did here once index reaches the end of the array we come out of the for loop and we don't have to return anything because the return type is void so we didn't create a new array we modified the original input array so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the number of elements in the input array nums and the space complexity is o of 1 we changed the original array in place that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one